Hello everybody. Goose fat roast potatoes. Oh yes. Love a roast potato. Goose fat, Christmas is coming. It's nice and simple, ain't it? Uh, I'm not just going to do roast potatoes, I'm still going to do something else with it. Uh, just a few bits I've got in the house which I'm going to use up. And uh, just something else I've got from the shop, that's all. Let me show you. Okay, there's my roast my potatoes. Um, I always use baking spuds, mate. They're not big, and we do like our roast potatoes big. Just uh, cleaned them, got rid of the starch and that. So we're going to get them on before we start. Uh, just get them off. I've got the, got the oven warming up already. We'll get a bit of salt in there. Do your salt to taste. That's them. We will let them boil away. When they start boiling, about 10 minutes you want after that, depending on how big your spuds are. And in the meantime, I'm going to be doing like a little chicken thigh tray bake thing. I um, just want to use my veg up, that's all. I've got two carrots chopped up, a couple of celery sticks chopped up, three celery sticks I use, two medium onions, and I got a pepper. And I got a I'm gonna use a chicken bullion. I'm gonna use one of them uh, just at the bottom of the tray just to soak up into all the vegetables. And I'm also gonna do the chicken and some of this. Some garlic butter meat glaze, uh, Mr. Marinade. It is really nice. So I've had it before. It is quite delicious actually. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. So while the them potatoes are boiling away and the oven's warming up, I'm gonna get my chicken onto a board and we're going to uh, just give it a quick pat dry doesn't need a big one the little one how many chickens have I got here I don't know if I'll get all these in my tray but hey we'll have a look these chickens I think it was 249 I think these chickens were from Aldi nice and cheap we're okay, just going to give them a quick pat that's all and what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick them in a bag with some of that marinade and give it a shake. I'm just going to leave them in that bag for until they're ready to go in the oven. That's all I'm going to do. And we'll put them all in a bag, like so. Usually with this marinade, you can just marinate it on top of your board. Uh, but I'm going to put it in a bag today. Like that. Just wash my hands. Get some garlic and butter. Garlic butter. Garlic butter chicken. There it is. It is delicious. We'll put a bit in there because it is quite nice. And I'll put a little drop of oil. Just a little drop. And we'll give it a shake. I'm not putting any salt on. Because uh, I won't need to with this seasoning. Uh, there. Yeah. Full of coating, we'll get it full, 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 fully coated. Now I've got my hot pan out of the oven and now we're going to get the goose fat in. Uh, £1.99p from Aldi. Uh, go and have a look, I don't know if you can pick it up. I'm not, uh, mine just goes in the pan, that's all, because it's going to melt anyway. Get it all in there. You want to get this fat really hot. So them little bits there, just keep hold of them little bits to go into your potatoes when they're boiled. So I'll get that in the pan, in the oven, and we'll get it really hot. Okay, the potatoes are boiled. I'm just going to drain them. There they are. Now, normally, I'll, um, I'd put oil in at this side in the potatoes but say because we're using goose fat that's why I've kept a bit of that goose fat a bit of salt and pepper to taste however you like it and this bit of goose fat that's left over here melted a bit now get it in and what you'll find is when you put your potatoes in the oven 
That goose fat will like, get the crunchy bits lovely. Yeah. Right, we'll give that a quick shake. Not too vigorous, just to, you know, just so it starts. Like so. See them crunchy bits already? Look, you can see where it's going to crunch up, can't you? Delicious. Right, I will get my boiling up tray out now. We'll put it on there and we'll just pile them on. Oh, yeah. Get them in there because they're nice crunchy bits, them. Nice little sizzle. Right, now leave them. I'll put mine in the bottom of the oven. On the bottom shelf. Camera's a bit off there, isn't it? There we go. I'll put them on the bottom of the shelf for 160 degrees. Um, that's like I usually do with like chicken or turkey. So they're going to go in at 160 degrees and they're going to go in a bit slower. So it'll take a bit longer to cook because then they're delicious. And that's how you want them. And after 15 minutes, just give them a turn. Okay, they've been in half, well, 25 minutes now, the roasters. I did turn them over. I've just got myself another hot tray out now. And I'm just going to get my vegetables in. My carrots. My uh, peppers. My celery. And my onion. So I just put in what you got. It's only a, a leftover thing. With what I've got, that's all. Give that a mix. Get it all like that. Yeah. Bit of salt and pepper on there. Why not? Now let's have a look at these chickens. Okay, let's get them open and have a look. Oh yes. Tell me I can get on here. I hope I get them all on. Hopefully. I don't think I will though. Doesn't matter because they can stay marinated in the fridge. It isn't going to matter. I say you could have fried them up first and fried the, the skin up, but it's going to brown anyway. I'm going to get all these in. I don't want to overpack the pan. Uh, I'll get a small one in the middle or somewhere. I don't have to overpack the pan. There you go, I've got seven in there. There's a couple left, I can put them in the fridge. The lad might have them. Now I've got my chicken bullion. Um, you can use vegetable stock or whatever. I've got that in, so I'm going to use it. I'm not going to pile it all the way up. I only want it like at the bottom. I have put 400 ml in there at the minute. I'm not sure how much it's going to take. We'll see. There you go, just something like that. That's took about 400 mil. Now that's going to go in now until it's all cooked. Lovely. A uh, bit of time. I was going to put a bit of time in, I forgot. Uh, it's only just gone in, so I'm just going to stick that in now. So there's none of it going on my uh, roasters. That's why I never put any on my roasters. Because I'm having it on here. There we go. Okay, guys, we are virtually done. Right, I'm going to get the chicken out. There it is. Looking absolutely delicious. Look at that. I'm going to put that on this tray here, on this plate, on some foil, I'm going to wrap it up and we're just going to thicken this sauce up a bit, that's all, on the hob, put all that in there. The roasters are done, I've got to take them out in bed, well as soon as I get this chicken wrapped up, got a skin on that chicken, doesn't that look nice, just give them a loose wrap, that's all. Keep them there for a minute. Get the roasters out. And there's my delicious roasters. Look at them beauties. It's what you call roasters, ain't it? Look at them. And we'll get them in here with some foil. Look at them beauties, look. <laughs> Not with foil, with some uh, kitchen paper. Oh, yeah. Up. And with your your sauce, turn it into a bit of like a, a thick gravy sort of thing. 
They just got it on the hob. Um, I was going to stick some flour in there, but I think I'm just going to stick some chicken granules in there, just as easy. I'm just turning it into like a gravy thing, we'll just mix it up, thicken it up a little bit. Mm -mm -mm. It's hot. Hot, 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 hot. Get that out of my gloves. There we go. And we're just thicken it up like this, eh? Well, I'll give that one minute, just to thicken up a little bit, and we'll dish up. So, there we go. Looks quite nice. Um, we, uh, potatoes, just season as you like, because we all like different kinds of salt, if you get what I mean. We salt as we go. Uh, well, let me show you. There it is. And roasters, look. Oh, yes. There's the chicken. The garlic and buttery chicken. A few veggies. There they are. That's tucking in. Look a good one. Oh, hands are in here today, isn't it, Bab? Yeah. Don't cook properly. Bless her. Can you get it? Yeah. Try a bit of his skin first, look. Oh, that's lovely. You tried that skin? Yeah, not yet. Mm. I'm trying not to rip my skin off first. Mmm. You need to try that. Oh, you need to try that skin. Oh, wow. Do you want me to do it for you? You okay? Mm, I'm okay. These are the roasters. That's why I always buy uh, bacon potatoes. Because you're getting bigger. I don't want these little poxy ones. You want the big roast potatoes. That's what you need. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that skin's delicious. And it? What do you think? It's really nice. It's really nice, isn't it? That skin. Really nice. Oh, rice is going to be boiling up. I haven't sorted with any of them yet. So this is just something nice and simple. It was something I was going to do. Um, but I went to get it and I haven't got any at the minute. So we've probably got them tomorrow instead of Wednesday. So I'll see if I can do it then. Uh -huh. mm. Mm. It's bang on, isn't it? This. It's really nice. Right? Really nice, isn't it? Mm, really nice. Sure? That skin's to die for, isn't it? It's a garlic butter one. Mm. It's really nice. I like that one. It's my favourite. This is a good dinner, this is just for a throw, throw together thing, isn't it? Mm. Mm. It is yeah. mm. And so you just put in what vegetables you want, whatever you got left or whatever you got in the freezer, throw some together. Um, that's what I had, so that's what I've done. I just went and bought the chicken really and uh, the potatoes. I bought the chicken and potatoes and the goose fat. I thought, oh, why I'm doing that? I might, as well, I might as well just buy some chicken and throw it together and see what happens. And it's absolutely delicious, isn't it? Season with what you want. I'll leave a link to Mr. Marinade anyway. Um, that is delicious. That skin is really nice, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. <laughs> mm. Nice, isn't it, Bab? Anyway, I'm going to go and eat it. Well, it's always cold. Um, as I say, I'm the old food guy. Give us a like, give us a subscribe. Roast potatoes, goose fat. Simple, delicious. Let them do it, take your time. Um, we're doing a turkey Christmas day. Put them in. Uh, we've got an hour left of the turkey. By the time you get the turkey out to rest for half hour, your roasters will be done. Put them in the bottom of the oven. Bang on. See you later. Bye bye.